Good looking, my nigga. Everything around me, I took it. Did it with only the niggas I knew. And a few niggas I thought I knew better. Let go, my bitches, I always do better. But you're a more top echelon. My next probably be a step backwards. Niggas front with niggas struck with love. Like a drama mates, be the best actors. We're Jungle Beats. We Jungle Beats. Charlie's plug to the. <laughs> Fucking biggest dickheads in the country. <laughs> um, oh, you should see it, mate. We. We reacted in, well, here's the thing guys, Look, first, we'll just fucking spill the beans. We reacted to Bass's new album, um, The Milky Way. Milky Way, and 15 minutes in, the memory card cut out because it was full, and we didn't realize until the 45 minute mark. So we thought, instead of giving you 30 minutes of black screen or whatever, we're just going to give you a review. Exactly. Which I think is still good. Yeah. You still get visuals. But you don't see us reacting to the music, so just imagine you saw us reacting to it. Anyway, Bus, French American rapper from Queens, New York, comes out with his third debut album, mm -hmm. Milky Way. Mm -hmm. And. Starts off strong with, with Icarus. Yeah, Icarus is a great way to start the album with this really subtle beginning and then. Uh, Ari Lennox has some really beautiful, subtle mm. vocals on there. She may be one of my, my favorite features on this album. Yeah. Like her and... Um, Corey C definitely ain't. <laughs> Corey C didn't do that well on this album. Um, but yeah, so the way that he starts his album with like his vocals that come in so raw and rough over the top of this really light sort of instrument is a really great way to start an album that is, ends up being mostly a summer jam album because the first track isn't really a summer jam in my opinion. No, it's more introspective and self-aware as we discussed mm. when the camera was off. Um, but once he hits on that first track, really strong way to open the album. Mm. And then I find it funny as well because the second track, Front Desk, also shows a lot what this album has on there was what I didn't enjoy from it. Yeah. Like, what I enjoy from this album is when he's rapping really fast and hard over some good beats. Because the production of this album is actually really good. Like, there's not really any bad production in this album, but there's just certain production that doesn't match his vocals very well. I feel like Front Desk is the track that starts that off for me. I know, I can't really remember too many of the other tracks in this album. I think we should talk about the ones that actually didn't hit for us. I think Front Desk, Fragrance, um, uh, PDA. Was Sanufa? Sanufa was, was, wasn't... It was enjoyable, wasn't as enjoyable mm. as our favorite tracks. But then the you liked the instrumental on Sanufa. I did, but I thought the best tracks in this album were Tribe and uh, and Boko Raton, and the music videos to accompany them, yeah. very good as well. Two really fun music videos, especially Boko Raton. I love that video so damn much, and the feature Asa Ferg was used amazingly. J Cole was used amazingly. Yeah, the way that they uh, use each other's styles and just blend them together is absolutely great on Tribe. It's probably one of the best tracks of the summer that will come out. So there's there's lots to lo like a lot of good tracks on here, but like there's just so much on this album which has that summer feel and has this singing style and has all these other effects on there, which I just don't think Bass pulls off very well. Right. But to give him the benefit of the doubt, it is very well polished and well mastered, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, which really helps these tracks. A bit, become a bit more pleasant and enjoyable because for people who watch a lot of us you guys know we're not the biggest fans of pop right but when it's executed well we're we're really thankful for it but this time the meld of pop and r&b in the midst of his hard-hitting production and and rapping and, and lyricism and self-awareness just seemed a bit messy at times mm. And then, um, but then you had good tracks like, um, like Barack Obama Special, which had that production really liked from, um, from that dude. Ah, uh, from uh, Ron Gilmore. Yeah, so that's like when the, the drums and keys were slightly off kilter, but like he came in like super fresh. Yeah. So there's also tracks on here which don't have the lighter vibe or have that slight pop appeal to it, and they're the tracks that we really loved. And they're most of the tracks that Ron Gilmore and or J. Cole have produced. So mm -hmm. I think if Ron can produce a whole album for Bass, that would be... That'd be pretty good, I, mm. I reckon. I wasn't listening too much as to what he touched up on all over this album. Like, I think we might have delved into the lyrics a bit beforehand, but I can't remember too much about it. Because there wasn't really all that much much after the first sort of track one, three, four, and five. There wasn't really much afterwards that held my attention whatsoever. Right. 
there was bits here and there, but on the more popular R&B tracks, the more like fairy, fluffier tracks, it was just about more the superficialities, less verses, more hooks and choruses, mm. which didn't really engage us that much. But the end of it, how we outroed, uh, I think it introed and outroed quite strongly. Yeah, designer. With designer. Yeah, the um, what was the type of production that was on there? I can't remember. That was designer. Did that by designer. Did that by designer. So you can mm. go, you can hear the hunger though. The hunger's there again. Like I said, this, it's not it's not summer anymore. It's kind of celebratory. Celebratory? Like cel celebrate celebratory? All oh, right, celebratory. 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 Solarium. <laughs> you play Mass Effect? No, Solarium is like a tanning bed. I thought you said Solarian. No. <laughs> I'm a Solarian. I'm a Solarian. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this album's got me feeling average. It showed a lot of promise to me, but in the end, I can't really see a reason for me to go back to this album. I'm going to go back for tracks, which is great because with Too High to Riot, I only really went back to the album for the album because that's the way that I like listening to it. You went back to the album for the album. But I didn't really enjoy the album. It's like Too High to Riot was the type of album where I felt like listening to tracks didn't do it justice because it just worked really good as an album. Right. Just, it just wasn't great. And I think this has elements of that, but at the same time, sonically, we pull back every now and again with those more yeah. R&B fusion tracks. I feel like this is a, a step up in terms of him tackling different productions yeah. and having better production for him to work on. But I feel like it's a step back in a way of him using that production in a good manner. But see, then again, it's at times. Like at times, it's like... A grade. I'm yeah. talking. We're talking yeah. like this A grade rapper right here. Mm -hmm. But at other times, it's like, damn, we're pulling away from the cohesiveness and concept of the whole album, it's becoming less enjoyable. Mm. But it's not bad at it's all. Not, no, this is a good album. It's a good album. It's just not an album that we and well, I enjoy. I, I feel like it's a thing. Like we said, it's a good album. Like even the tracks where we didn't like it, we we noticed that like everything's done in a manner which is enjoyable for other people. Right. No, it's not just outrageously bad. Like, it's all good. There are going to be people who find this their favorite Bass album. I rec I was at the start, I'm feeling the first four tracks. I'm like, all right, if we can keep this momentum, this could be, this might be a top 10 album for Exactly. Me. But then it just didn't keep it. And, and this disappoints me, man, because there's elements that Bass has that really excite me. But um, it's I'm, just not here. I'm hoping for the next one, it's a little more complete package that's a little more cohesive and conceptualized. Yeah, we've got a lot of years to come. Bass is still really early into his career, so I really hope within the next upcoming albums he releases that one of them will be like 10 tracks of that hard-hitting Bass, and that will be the tra the album that I go back to the most and makes me a fan of Bass. But Bass is a, is a good artist, this is a good album, and enjoyable at many times. Um, yeah, if you never heard of Bass, give this a listen. If you like it, go back to his older stuff. Either way, uh, I wasn't feeling it too much, but... Like I said, there's tracks on here I'm going to go back to, so... All right, man, we're Jungle Beats. Let us, th let us know your thoughts of this review type of package. This is the second time we've done this. Since um, Eminem. Yeah, since Eminem. Uh, obviously, because we messed up this time. Because <laughs> we're dickheads. How bad? How bad, man? But. We're bad. How bad, man? How bad? What did you think of the Bass album? What do you think of Were your favorite that? moments? Worst moments? Let us know. If you want to kiss my kneecap, let me know and I'll let you come in and kiss it. That you're doing, you do all in hiding. But I am no better. I can see all of your terrors. Still remain quiet and wonder in private and silence. Like if I just speak on it, would the people go by it?